It's quite the find. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Crow's Thrifty Finds. My name is Melanie. So for this week's video, we are going to talk about what's selling on eBay right now. So I'm going to discuss what personally is selling for me at this moment and kind of what's trending. And I'm going to go through and talk about sales from the past month. This isn't quite all of my sales, but it's ones that I felt were worth highlighting. Um, these sales are going to, you know, be good finds that I was really excited about and then a little bit of, you know, a fail here and there. But it's good to be honest and say, you know, what worked and what didn't and also discuss what sold so you all could be aware and look for these particular items when you're outsourcing. So let's talk about it. First off, I'm going to share one of my favorite sales from the past month. And this was something that I recently sourced. There's a bins like a store, but it's from a different thrift store chain than Goodwill that I just discovered recently about an hour away. And I happen to be in that area. And I discovered this uh, vintage Manhattan toy company crab. It's very, very small. We're talking like two inches wide. This is a little guy, but as some of you may remember, I have mentioned Manhattan Toy Company plush before, and this little guy's a great example. Actually, I think it's a girl, Carol Dean. Sounds like a girl. A uh, great example of a huge profit that you can make. It looks like a beanie baby almost. Uh, it is stuffed with beans, but they're kind of bigger than your beans than your typical beanie baby. But I probably got it for, you know, about 50 cents. It goes by weight, just like Goodwill bins. And I ended up selling it for $69.99. This is a very rare plush. There wasn't really any comp to compare it to. So I, I put a price out there. I'm hoping I didn't undershoot it. But hey, paying 50 cents, happy to sell it for $69.99. That's a great profit. Next, we have an American Girl doll. This is the Welly Wishers line. So these are the slightly smaller ones. These ones are great to snatch up from thrift stores because sometimes they don't even realize that these carry value like they're larger uh, American Girl cousins, I guess you could say. So I actually paid $5 at Goodwill for this and sold it, as you can see, for $36. Next, I have a Lululemon hoodie. I paid up for this hoodie. I paid uh, $25. You might remember this from a previous video. Um, but I knew it was worth more. It was a limited edition and limited edition Lululemon stuff sells. People want it. It's, it's desirable. And as you can see, I sold it for $64.99. So good profit there. Next, we have a Minnesota Timberwolves basketball jersey. I love buying sports jerseys. They're not always the fastest sellers, but if you sell them during the right season, um, they can go. So, and even if it's not the right season, they can still go, but they just go a little easier. But $5 is what I paid for it. And as you can see, it sold for $31.99. Next, this came from the first storage unit that I purchased. It's a wooden train set, sold it for $22.99. And that was, you know, from the storage unit. So I'm in the green on that because I've sold many of the items from there already. So that's just an extra $23, you know, before eBay fees in my pocket. Next, I have a Transformer. This I bought last summer. I bought a bunch of new uh, collectible toys from this guy, and I'm well in the green on what I paid, so that's $75 in my pocket. Next, I have a Black Dog Sweatshirt. Now, this is kind of an if-you-know-you-know -you -know thing. Uh, if you're from New England, this brand of sweatshirt is pretty popular. And I purchased it at Goodwill for $5. If you if it was a New England Goodwill, it might have been priced higher. But I think in North Dakota, not as many people know about black dogs. So I was able to make a good $20 profit there on that selling it for $25. Next item is this cowboy hat that I bought from an estate sale for $10. And I remember after buying it, I, I discovered 
comps that I didn't notice before that were lower in price and I got a little worried that maybe I wouldn't be able to get what I wanted for it, but I luckily was able to. Got $30 for it, actually sold very quickly. And when I see hats selling, I think about another YouTube channel. I think about Thrift Store Dave. Uh, he has a really great YouTube channel. That's the name of it, Thrift Store Dave. And he's kind of a newish YouTuber as well, like myself. Great channel. I would encourage you all to check it out. Um, yeah, he sells a lot of different things and he, he does really well with hats. So yeah, that's what kind of made him come to mind. I can actually include a link to one of his videos uh, at the end of this one. Next, we're going to talk about Dockers. People still wear them. You know, granted, they were very popular in the 90s, but, they, you know, people still need khaki pants for work. Uh, that need isn't going to stop. So khakis are, are a good pickup, and these ones were new. I paid only $5 for them, so $23.50. You know, it wasn't the biggest profit ever. I kind of kept lowering the price. Could I have gotten a few dollars more maybe, but I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm happy to get them out. Next, this was in a video not too long ago. I, I picked up a Metallica fan club t-shirt. Really cool, almost vintage. It was from 2004. Paid $5 for it. Sold it for $32.99. Next, I've mentioned Lovey's before, and I thought I'd share a Lovey's sale. Now, this came from the storage unit that I'm already in the green on. This was from the first storage unit. And... This I sold for $11, so not the biggest sale ever, but they still sell. And this was a uh, baby bum, like little monkey. It's, it's actually a sunscreen company, so maybe this is a promotional item. I'm not sure, but yeah, it's sold. It's nice, gender neutral. Next item... This was a retail arbitrage kind of thing. Um, I picked up this Monster High doll new from Target. It was a Target exclusive. I kind of thought to myself, maybe not everybody has a Target in their areas. And I know people have Target online. So I don't know. It was kind of a risky purchase. But I, I was hoping maybe they'd sell out quickly and it would be desirable around the holidays. And it sat and sat and sat. So I lowered the price to 40 I paid $25 for it. There was free shipping. This is not a big profit. I, I would call this, uh, you know, close to a fail of sorts. Did I make some money on it? Sure, a few bucks. But, yeah, sometimes retail arbitrage doesn't always work out the way you want. Sometimes it does. But I'm, you know, just keeping it real here on YouTube. So there you have it. <laughs> Next, we have a pair of baby Jordans. Look at how cute these are. You know, just because they're kids' shoes doesn't mean they won't sell. And Jordans are popular amongst people of all ages. The parents want to buy these for their for their babies. So, yeah, if you see baby Jordans, they're, they're worth selling. So these came from the storage unit. The second one that I got, $31.50 was what they sold for. So I made some good, good pocket money there for sure. Next item, I mentioned this uh, in my bins video as it sold super fast, but I wanted to show you again to highlight that small plush are still worth picking up. I got this Tom and Jerry Tom plush for a quarter probably at the bins, sold it for $20. So I love when I can just flip something like that really quick. Next, another bins item. Loved my trip to the bins. Got so many good things. Uh, this is a Piranha Joe shirt. It was new with tag. Uh, it was one of those things I snagged right when the new bin came out. Uh, it sold for $29.99. Probably paid a dollar for it. So good sale there for 30 bucks. Next, I have a vintage NASCAR t-shirt. This I got uh, last summer and it was 50 cents. Uh, it was on my road trip that I took uh, to Massachusetts. And... I sold it for $25. NASCAR t-shirts, vintage ones, they're good sellers. But, you know, driver is important and style is important. Um, so, you know, like if it's an all-over print, it's going to go for higher. But I was definitely happy with that sale. Next, we have a vintage North Face Gore-Tex jacket. I had this priced a lot higher over the winter, but now that the winter is gone, finally, <laughs> I am... 
lowering the price of my winter items to try to push them out. So this one sold recently uh, for $40, spent $2 on it. So that's a nice $38 profit that I am more than happy with. Next, just a little bread and butter item, but this is a vintage um, Bane uh, from Batman action figure. I got him in a lot of other action figures. I mean, you know, probably spend, you know, no more than a quarter and sold it for $14 with free shipping. So not a huge, huge amount of money. But when you think about collectively how much I got this lot of action figures for, I am making big money on the lot by just selling one figure for $14. So no need to turn my nose up at a $14 sale in that situation. Next, there's a Texas Instruments printing calculator. It came with extra paper. I bought it for a dollar and I was even kind of on the fence about that just because I wondered, will it sell? And it did. Took a little while, but not, not an incredibly long time. Uh, sold for $22.99. So for a dollar, why not, right? It's It sold. And last but not least, we have an Ever After High doll. This is one of the boy dolls. I paid $5 for him at Goodwill and sold him for $20 for a $15 profit before eBay fees. Not the biggest profit ever, but, you know, eBay sales have been slowing down a little bit. And at this point, I, I've decided that a $15 profit is is still good, even though I prefer 20. So I'm kind of switching up how I do things a little bit just to adjust with, with how, you know, eBay has been lately. So that is the end of the list. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I put out content every week. And again, this is Melanie with Crow's Thrifty Finds. I'll see you next week.